So you wanna make 2020 your best year yet? I'm gonna show you today how you can go 366 and 0. That's right, how you can win every single day and go undefeated in 2020. What's up competitors? My name's Jake Thompson. I'm a keynote speaker and the founder here at Compete Every Day. And today I'm gonna to tell you how you can go undefeated in 2020 and make it your best year yet. But first, I've got a football lesson for you. If you're a fan of college football, then you've definitely heard the name Woody Hayes before. He's the historic Ohio State football coach from the 50s, 60s, and 70s. Woody's famous for coining the phrase, three yards and a cloud of dust. You see, in Woody's opinion, only three things happen when you throw the football, and two of which are bad, incompletion or interception. See, Woody would hate today's game of football where they throw it almost every down. Woody's teams relied on, actually lived for running the ball. This three yards in a cloud of dust was the idea that every time you would snap the ball, turn around, hand it off, get three yards at a time. Doesn't sound that exciting, does it? See, three yards in a cloud of dust, that's not big plays. That's not sports center highlights. That's not breakaways and juke moves. That's just running up the gut for three yards at a time. But did you know that you can go the entire length of the field just three yards at a time? Yeah, you can start at your own one yard line and run three yards every play and go all the way down the field for a touchdown. First and 10, second and seven, third and four, fourth and one, first down, move the chain. It's not exciting. It's not a whole lot of fun to watch unless you just love violent hits right up the middle. It's really not today's brand of football. But here's the thing. That style of football still works. You have to have a disciplined team. You have to practice patience. You have to focus on just the next play. Works in football, and I'm gonna show you how it's gonna work in life this year for you. So even though I am not an Ohio State football fan, I am a huge fan of Woody Hayes' mindset with three yards and a cloud of dust. Pick up just a little bit every single play, every single snap. Practice patience, practice discipline. Focus on what you're gonna do this play. And here's what it's gonna look like for you. Here's your challenge to get three yards on a cloud of dust and win the day every day this year. Every day you're gonna take out this small little sticky note. The reason it's a sticky note is because honestly, you can't put that much information on the sticky note. You're limited to three most important tasks you have to do today. It's gonna to look like this. Every day you're gonna write down the three most important things you have to do that day. Better yet, you're gonna write them down the night before. So today when I finish my work, I'm gonna take out my sticky note and I'm gonna write the three most important action items I need to achieve tomorrow. I'm gonna to have a clear perspective because I'll have finished today. I know what the most pressing things are and I can focus on putting them into practice because here's the key. Most of us, if we're honest, we have a to-do list longer than Santa's naughty or nice list. It lists 10, 15, 20, 30, 50 items. We have pages and pages and pages of notes of things that we think we have to get done. And all we're really doing is being efficient at stuff that doesn't move the needle. See, in my work as a speaker, I have the chance to talk to a lot of companies about the difference between efficiency and effectiveness. Most of us are just focused on efficiency in our work. How can we get through our to-do list? How can we get all these items done? It feels like it's never ending. This to-do list never ends, so how can I get them done faster? We rarely take time to step back and evaluate the things we're doing if they're effective. See, efficiency is doing things well. Effectiveness is doing the right things. So my challenge to you is, are you focused more on being efficient or being effective? Are you worried about how you can do that to-do list well? Are you worried about doing the right things? The reason I have you do the exercise the night before so you can't walk into the office the next day and all of a sudden you have emails and social media alerts and text messages and coworkers walking in your office. The distractions are everywhere. Here's what I do instead. I write them down the night before. I take the sticky note and put it right on my computer. If it's in my office, it's on my desktop, right on the screen, so it's the first thing I see before I wake the computer up from sleep or turn it on. I can't help but look at the three most important priorities for the day. Those are my targets, those are my three yards. If I get all three done, that day is a win. I'm one and oh. If I miss, well that day's a loss. Two out of three aren't gonna get you there. All three need to be achieved. So you have to be honest with yourself when writing these priorities. Do these three things move the needle in your work and in your life? 
And then you got to commit to yourself to get them done. Get out of your inbox. Get off social media. Quit talking to all your coworkers and focus on getting the work done that you have to. Here's the thing. You're not going to achieve everything you want in one day. However, if you start adding those days one on top of another on top of another, you keep moving the change. You keep advancing down the field. You keep getting closer to that touchdown. And before you know it, you look up and you've scored. That's what we want. We want those touchdowns. We want those victories in life. But the only way we're going to get them is three yards every single day. It's not Instagrammable. You don't brag about it. You don't post it on social media. But you know what it does? It moves you forward every single day. So my challenge for you this year in 2020, if you want to make it your best year yet, if you want to go 366 and 0 undefeated, then every single day you need to start by writing down what your top three priorities are and making sure above all else, those get knocked out. Give yourself a big win for that day. But keep this in mind. Bad days happen. Challenges are inevitable. There probably will be a day that you miss and get that one or that two or that three loss. But here's my challenge to you. When that bad day happens, when that inevitable slip up comes and you don't get all three tasks done, Give yourself the grace to realize tomorrow is day one all over again. Never let one become two. Never let a losing streak start. You don't want to start moving backwards on the field. Whatever it takes to get forward three yards today. Get your eyes off the end zone and focus on the next play, which is today. And that is how you're going to go undefeated in 2020 and make it your best year yet. (laughs) 